That reminds me, how old is she? I bought adult cat food to start with, but I'd rather get the correct food for her age group. Oh, here we go. So I can determine her age range from her teeth. But then again, I am an amateur in the veterinary arts. I should schedule a checkup and ask a specialist. What are you reading? No, oh, Miss Orsa! Please don't startle me like that! Oh, sorry! Um, this is what I'm reading. A cat owner's manual? Yes. While I am well versed in biology, it is still my first time owning a pet, and so I sought pointers. I see. Well, if there's anything I can help with, let me know. Great. I would appreciate your assistance very much. Oh, I forgot to ask. Did you give her a name already? I did. Her name is, uh... Ugh. What? You... You can't... <laughs> you can't call your cat after one of your students. Sir. Sir. Please tell me you were gonna call it, like, Apple or something. I, I don't wanna... Uh, please tell me it wasn't ours. <laughs> Let me... Let me live in my fantasy world that is like Apple. Oh no. You could have called her Chrysanthemum, my dude. That'd be a great name for a cat. <laughs> no. no! No, 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 no name yet! Because I couldn't think of anything! It can be really hard, actually. Let me know what you decide on. S certainly! If I'm able to tell you, I most assuredly will! What do you mean, if you're able? So, does she like it at your house? Yes. She runs around quite a bit. She's so attached to me, she will follow me wherever I go. It's very cute. <laughs> Gosh, I know it's only been a day, but I can't wait to see her again. Hey, I know! Could I visit your house? No! Uh, uh, absolutely not! I can't? Of course you can't! It's completely inappropriate for a young man and woman to be alone under the same roof! Because I might have my way with you? <laughs> have... Have your way with me?! I mean, if I really tried to do such a thing, you could just punish me with your mighty hammer of justice. Yeah, that can't be misconstrued in any way at all. <laughs> Girl... Why do you intentionally try to make this boy die of loss of blood from his nose every time? <sighs> There's no, it doesn't matter what universe. Red, Red's roots are always the same. And it's just one giant embarrassment patty is all it is. Whoa. Well, you have a point. In that case... No, 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 no! My morality nearly caved! Unacceptable! Anyway, the point stands! Dang. That reminds me, have you always been a cat lover? W what do you mean? Well, I just remembered. Back during the culture festival, you requested that I wear cat ears. It's true, good point. <laughs> what? Professor? But you forgot your book! Professor! Honestly, he did the only sane thing you could do in that situation, which is to run the hell away from you. <laughs> That's the first sane thing he's done in this room. It's just like, I, I'm a head out. <laughs> Honestly. A few days later. It's Christmas Day and there are happy couples all over town. Christmas is the perfect holiday for a winter date, an important day for lots of girls my age, myself included. Sadly, here I am, no date plans, on my way to school alone. Because the man I'm interested in isn't someone I can just ask out on a whim. Alright, so she's, al she's already there. Yeah. Eh, fine, okay, alright. Hello there, Professor! Another chilly day, huh? Hmm? Miss Orsa. I got an extra drink from the vending machine, so I'll give it to you. It should keep your hands warm. 
Oh, thank you very much. No prob. I like that she wore her school uniform, even though she didn't have to. So what brings you here? Didn't winter vacation start yesterday? Huh? Well, uh, he sure doesn't waste any time, huh? Should I just be honest and tell him I'm here to see him? Don't tell me. Tell you what? You forgot there was no school today, too! Two? Wolf came by just now asking, Where is everybody? So naturally, I told him to take his unfunny joke and go home. Oof. <laughs> Wolf, please. Likewise, if you have no business to attend to, you should return home as well. Campus is off limits during the break, even to registered students. I... I do have business to attend to, actually. Tending the flowers. That's why I'm here. The flowers? Yeah. I apologize. I didn't anticipate your arrival, and as such, I have already handled it myself. All of it? Every single one of these? Yes. Uh, okay, then. Maybe I'll go to the library and study it for the next semester. Actually, I had a biology question. Could you help me, Professor? The library is closed for cleaning. If you have no other business, please leave. It's not healthy to be out in the cold. Time for my trump card. Professor? Yes? What is it? Would you walk me home? I'm just gonna be direct with him. What? Much as I would love to honor your request, I unfortunately have tasks to- Hey, Professor. Did you know it's Christmas today? Y yes it is From a cultural perspective, Christmas is a day you spend with your friends and loved ones. Hardly anybody actively wants to spend it alone. Which means the city streets are full of hungry wolves today. They might just gobble me up. <gasps> As a single young female, I'm in an awful lot of danger. But that's okay. I'm fairly in shape, so I'm sure I could outrun a grown man if I need to. Sorry for bothering you when you're busy. I'm gonna go now. Okay, so maybe I'm kinda being unfair, but I'll do whatever it takes to spend more time with you. Sorry, Professor. You're not sorry. You're not sorry at all. I acknowledge you have a point. After all... I witnessed similarly unscrupulous individuals making a pass at you during the culture festival. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Very well. I shall walk you home. Yay! Thank you so much! Well, uh, Red, you deserve somebody better. <laughs> You're too pure. Well, that's not entirely true since his mind's in the gutter, but you know what I mean. This way, correct? Aw, you remembered! Well... Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm so glad. Feel free to come over on your days off. I... I will not! Darn. Today I am merely delivering you to your residence. No other purpose. Yeah, I know. This isn't a Christmas date, and you're certainly not going to attend a private party at my house. <laughs> Uh, of course not! I... I, 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 I couldn't possibly! <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> By the way, it's Christmas today. Y yes you said that. I hear that all the good little girls receive presents today. Is that... a hint? Unfortunately, I don't have anything on hand save for my memo pad and pen. And my riding hood, of course. Ugh. Don't tell me you want to take my hood! Can I? Absolutely not! <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm happy enough just walking home with you, so I don't need a Christmas present. Why does this make you so happy? Because I can rest easy knowing I'm in safe hands? 
<laughs> yes, you are. You most certainly are. As long as I'm around, no harm shall befall you. This is the place, correct? Yeah. When we next see each other, the third semester will have started. Do take care of yourself until then. Wait, Professor! Hmm? After all the hard work you've put in to protect the Academy, I'd say you've earned a reward. What? Merry Christmas! <laughs> they didn't get messed up, did they? I did try to be careful when I packed them into my bag. Rest assured, it's a very lovely bouquet. However, I haven't done anything worthy of a reward. Protecting the Academy is what anyone would do. Sure, it might not be a big deal, but you still deserve to be celebrated on days like these. Thanks for everything. Please, take it! Very well. Poinsettias, right? The perfect Christmas flower. Thank you very much. I shall take good care of them. At the very least, I got to spend a bit of time with Professor Red on Christmas. It wasn't much of a date, but I don't think I could have hoped for better, honestly. I'm just happy I got to see the look on his face when I gave him his gift. I hope those poinsettias stay vibrant and beautiful for a long, long time. They should. I mean, I have a black thumb when it comes to gardening, and I managed to keep poinsettias alive for a few months. Like, until summer. That was pretty good, right? <laughs> so, I think that Red will do just fine. After the fun and joy of Christmas came the start of the new semester. Like last semester, I've been tending the flower beds with Professor Red every day after school. Now and then, when we end up working late into the evening, he'll walk me home. And every time, he insists, protecting you from evil is my job as a superhero. He hasn't loosened up at all. At this rate, I might spend my entire high school career never making any progress with him. Or so I think, until one day. Uh, uh, what, what is this thing doing here on the hallowed grounds of our... Well, to me, it's more horrifying than hallowed, but still, why are you here? Alice? What's wrong? Wait a minute. That's Professor Red's cat. What are you doing here, kitty? Did you get sick of waiting at home all by yourself? Come here, sweetie. I'll take you to your papa. Yes! Good! T t take that thing away with you, for God's sake! That flea-bitten furball has no business being here! Uh, actually, now that I think of it, we already have one cat on campus. And she's our student council president! Yeah, this is the Alpha's turf! So this is no place for you, understand? Oh God! Why are you coming closer? Ah, stop! All cats love Alice, and he's just like, get away! <laughs> All the other personalities are like, cats are great. And Alice is like, no! You like Alice, don't you? I don't blame you. He's so sweet and charming and... St stay away! The thing is, sweetie, he's kind of scared of cats. Could you come over here? I... I insist, I am not scared of... Th that thing! I'm not sc sc scared of anything! Back up! Back up! Meow! Ah! Kitty, no! Wait up! <laughs> I will make you love me. <sighs> <sighs> That was close. Good thing my noble aura sparked fear into its little heart. Pathetic creature. Wait, why can't I stand up? Hey, you! Lend me your- Oh, she ran after it. I can't possibly fathom why she would waste time chasing that thing. Not that I want to understand her anyway. But what am I supposed to do now? A high-status individual such as myself couldn't possibly crawl home. What's wrong? 
as a villain struck. <laughs> In a manner of speaking? Kitty, wait! I know Alice scared you, but I promise no one else is going to yell at you anymore. It's okay now. Stop running. She ran into the forest. What do I do? If I look for her, will I even find her? It's not safe for a single tiny kitty to wander around in that big dark forest. But then again, how dangerous could it be really? It's right here on school grounds. Screw it. I'm going in. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. You really don't want to get yourself lost in here. Trust me. Just come on out. There's nothing to be scared of. We're going back to Professor Red's house, okay? I can't find her anywhere. <laughs> Ow! Great, I tripped over a tree root or something. This always happens to you. My ankle kind of hurts. Eh, I'll just have Ryoshi look at it late. Ah! Ow, ow, ow! Is it sprained? <laughs> I'm not sure I can stand on my own. Well, now I'm stuck out here. <sighs> it's getting dark. Cats have pretty good night vision, right? Hopefully she's not hurt or anything. And I hope she's not scared. Ugh, why am I talking to myself? Uh, oh. He hello, Wolf Howl. Because talking to myself is the only thing keeping me from being scared, that's why. For some reason, I keep hearing these predatory growls. There's no way a forest on school grounds is full of carnivorous beasts, though, right? Professor Red? <sighs> yeah, right. There's no way he'll conveniently show up right when I need him. I gotta get myself out of here somehow. How can I move without putting any weight on my bad leg? Oh, what if I crawl on all fours? I might find the cat more easily while I'm at it. All right, here we... Kitty? Meow! Oh, thank God you're safe. Are you hurt at all? Meow! No, huh? That's good. Well, I appreciate you being here. It's a lot less scary with you around. Now, if only I could walk. One second, okay? I'm gonna power through it. Miss Orsa! Professor Red? I'm sorry I'm late. You were chasing after my cat for me, weren't you? I'm so sorry. This would never have happened if only I'd made sure to lock every door and window. It's fine. You came to rescue me? Of course I did. If only I had been faster. You must have felt so scared and lonely. <laughs> I'm fine, really. Besides, the hero always arrives fashionably late. Are you all right, Miss Orsa? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. It's getting late and it's freezing. Here, take this. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. Offering me his riding hood to shield me from the cold? So romantic! Not only that, but I'd love to feast my eyes on whatever's underneath. Gah, not the time, Eureka! I appreciate the offer, but I wouldn't want you to be cold either. I shall be fine. In anticipation of precisely this scenario, I'm wearing a second riding hood underneath. Oh. Now then, let us depart. I cannot allow a delicate young woman to remain trapped in this gloomy forest a moment longer. Hey, um, Professor? What's wrong, Miss Orsa? Aww. Hey, we're getting some pictures. That's nice. Thank you for the extra riding hood. It's nice to see her in it, because we've gotten moments where he's given it to her, and we haven't really seen her in it, so that's kind of neat. Professor. M -m 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 Miss Orsa! Why are you talking on my riding hood? 
Surely you understand I cannot give you this one. Without this one, I... Then again, we're in a dark forest with no one else around. No one around? Uh, is this what I think it is? But even so, we cannot possibly... P -p 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 Personally, I am one who values chastity. Only after we have established a loving relationship should we progress to s Go. What am I saying? What are you saying? <laughs> why is that why your mind went immediately? <laughs> she asked why as if she doesn't know. I know, it's just like, sir, <laughs> you need to calm down. Miss Orsa? You see, um... I kind of sprained my ankle, so... What? I can't really walk, is the thing. You said you were fine! I'm sorry. No, no. If anything, I'm sorry. You must be in a lot of pain. Yeah. Would it be okay if we waited a while until the pain goes away? Girl, haven't you been sitting out here for hours? How, many, how much more waiting do you have to do? I'm sorry. I know you must be just as cold as I am. I just need a little rest, and then I should be able to walk again. Miss Horus. Get a... My... Ugh. Sorry, what was that? I think he wants you to get on his back. Yep. Get on my back! Huh? <laughs> you don't mind? I... I have no other choice, but because you're unable to walk on your own. I really appreciate this. Ah, uh, the old piggyback ride. I hope I'm not too heavy. Am I? Miss Orisa. Yes? <laughs> okay. Starting now, you are a boulder. And boulders should be silent. What? If... If... If I become cognizant of the fact that there is a woman on my back, I am liable to fling you off. If that happens, I'll have even more injuries to add to the list! Exactly. I do not wish for you to be injured further. And thus, I must ask you to become a boulder starting now. Oh, okay! Hey, Professor? <laughs> Boulders don't talk. Shut up, girl. Thank you. Thank you, Red. Thank you. Boulders do not speak. Maybe they do, and you just don't know about it. This is extremely unrealistic. Well, it's happening right now, so that makes it realistic. Face it, I'm a talking boulder. Don't be absurd! You are Miss Or- don't throw me! No. It's a boulder. A boulder. A boulder! I... I suppose it is rather unheroic to refer to the lady I have rescued as an inanimate object. Nah, it's okay. You know, you showed up to rescue me right when I was hoping you would. <laughs> You're my honest-to-goodness hero. Thank you, Professor. Girl needs to learn, like, what a boulder is, <laughs> though. <laughs> she gotta read up on boulders. And so, after a long, long day, Professor Red carried me home. The next morning, the pain had receded enough for me to walk to school without issue. As soon as he saw me, Professor Red started to get all flustered for some reason. Not sure what that was about. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Following this incident, however, the hapless dork has started spending more and more time in my presence. Maybe he feels compelled to protect me. Regardless of the reason, I'm just happy to have my beloved Professor Red at my side. Is it safe to call this... progress? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about you calling him a hapless dork. <laughs> Boy saved you, girl. <laughs> 